Although INTJ mules are often likened to alpha mules, which indeed they are, there comes a time when the INTJ mule is no different from a beta mule, especially when he forfeits a leadership position to become a subordinate, an assistant, or an advisor. Let's compare how true the INTJ mule is similar to a beta mule based on 4. Friendliness A bitter male is a man who is not a pushover or somebody to be looked down upon, but rather someone who is friendly and respects others. Being friendly is something that many people associate with the bitter male personality. Whether it is towards a man or a woman, the bitter male wants to be friendly and kind to everyone in order to gain the approval and admiration. Why the beta male seeks friendship as a way to gain approval, the INTJ male does not need approval. He secretly despises people's opinions and overrates his, but he is friendly because he is able to put himself in other people's shoes and see the need to be there for others. The INTJ male is not interested in making many friends because his friendliness has earned him many acquaintances. 3. Reserved one of the main traits associated with the beta male is being reserved. This natural reservation is what leads people to think a beta male is shy and not willing to share his opinions. While it is true that some beta males are shy, many are just afraid to share their opinions openly. Because of this, many shy away from social interactions. Being reserved does not mean that beta males lack something to say, but they do have something but choose not to because they hate to be judged and criticized by others. On the other hand, the INTJ male is reserved not because he is shy, but because he needs time alone to recharge, plan and lay down new strategies to push his ambitions ahead. Being reserved to the INTJ is an added advantage because it makes him even harder to be predicted. 2. Submissive The signature sign of the beta male is being submissive and trying to avoid stepping on someone's toes. While many view being submissive as a negative trait, there are times in which being submissive has its benefits. On the other hand, the INTJ male is no one's puppet, neither is he submissive, but he is respectful. He is the introverted alpha that commands and does not back down from conflict. Although there are times when the INTJ male will choose to back down from a conflict for the sake of peace, he does that only when he has much to lose. Other than that, he is on his own, doing as he pleases. 1. Loyalty The last trait of the beta male, and one of his biggest strengths, is that he is very loyal. One reason why the beta male is a very good friend is because he is loyal to those who respect him and are friendly towards him. The beta male may not always speak his mind, but he is always present by his friends when they need him. Both the beta male and the INTJ male share this common trait. But the difference is in that the INTJ male's loyalty has to be earned. Because of this difference, beta males are highly sought after by alpha males as they make a good team of yes men. The beta male and the INTJ male differ from each other because of the motive behind each choosing to act the way they act. Thanks for listening.